I thought it'd be worth giving you a current update on what's happening at the breach. So we've now completed the hydro demolition of the north joint. This has exposed the internal steelwork, which allows us to make any necessary repairs there. In the meantime, we're continuing to demolish the south joint, and that's going to take a few more weeks yet. But once we've completed that hydro demolition, we'll then be able to lower the bridge back into its original position. This will then allow us to construct the new joint on the northern side, which will include the new bearings and some additional cathodic protection. The south joint will be completely removed and permanently connected to the southern section. This will reduce further maintenance requirements going forward for the remaining lifespan of the bridge. I'd like to thank everyone who's involved in working on the bridge uh, and involved with the project for continuing to work safely and to make sure the project keeps progressing. At the North Half Joint, we've reached a very good milestone of removing all the defective concrete. This has now allowed our formwork subcontractor to start putting in the faults and formwork to start that reconstruction. Following on from that, this will then allow us to drop the central section of the bridge, which allows us to start on the South Half Joint. Once that Half Joint at the South is complete, we'll be able to start taking away the temporary works that you can see behind me. The south and north backspans, they've received the cathodic protection, which is now ready for the sprayed over air concrete. This is started to the south backspan. We finish shortly. We should remember there's still a significant amount of work to be completed, but the works are progressing well. We will continue to keep you updated as the project continues. So once again, thanks to everyone in and around Durham for your continuing patience during these essential works.